Welcome back to our extended live coverage of Russia's war on Ukraine. Throughout these two hours, we'll keep you updated with what's going on. Uh, right now, I'm joined by Zenya, a restaurant owner in Ukraine. Um, it's very early on Monday morning. I can't imagine what you're uh, going through. Just share with us um, your experiences over the past few days and what you're expecting in the next few days. Hi. Uh, well, uh, we had um, <laughs> uh, the city of Kiev, where I'm located right now, has been bombed, shelled, uh, missile attacks. <clears throat> what's worse is uh, we had what's called a commandant hour here, which means no civilian population can leave uh, the, their houses, so they have to stay inside. And uh, that is because Ukrainian military inside the city is uh, actually working to <clears throat> to deter the uh, the people undercover inside the Russian forces inside, who are uh, who have been placed inside Kiev for several months now, and who are uh, walking around dressed as civilians. Uh, putting bombs in different places, marking for airstrikes and missiles, and they're working through the night, shoot, and the Ukrainian forces are shooting to kill them. Uh, that's why civilians have to stay inside, and basically everyone who is not inside is considered an enemy, or anyone who doesn't have a special permit. So, fun uh, in total. Well, that is amazing. That is the first time I've heard that. So that is, that's the reason for the curfew, because the spies and saboteurs are out there and they need to be confronted by your forces. Can I look? We've all been here so inspired by the absolute, you know, the, the incredible uh, courage and, re, and behind this resistance, you know, 100 percent unity. And one of the aspects of that is people saying, yeah, I'm going to fight for my country. How do you feel about that? Where do you stand on that if, if, the, if that moment arises? Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ukrainians are um, a very uh, weird kind of people. Uh, every time we have a, an outside enemy and we have to group together to, uh, to fight for, for our freedom or for our country, which happened in 2004, happened again in 2013 and 14, and it's happening now. So we, you, you've heard we had Maidan in 2004 and 2013, mm -hmm. and basically what people are calling uh, what's happening right now uh, an all-Ukrainian Maidan, which uh, means that every single Ukrainian is doing the best he can. Uh, I'm not yeah. particularly a, a good fighter uh, in terms of, like, I. Uh, I can shoot, but I can't shoot very well. But what I can do really well is I can uh, make supply chains really well. I can uh, supply mm -hmm. uh, the fighters really well. And if the fighters are well fed and they're well supplied, they fight really well. And uh, Ukrainians who can't fight, you know, they, they pick shovels and uh, load the sacks of sand and make barricades. Ukrainians who can cook, cook. Ukrainians who can shoot, shoot. And there are special forces that can kill. They work behind enemy lines to destroy artillery. And uh, everyone's doing the best they can, and that's how it works. I got to say, I'm just, I'm so grateful that you could join us tonight for us, early morning for you, and just share that perspective. You know, like, I, I hope you know that, that we're all with you. And we are putting as much pressure as we can um, to make sure you get the help you need. Shenya, thank you so much. Oh, stay I safe. That. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.